Hi, it's a beautiful week already. My name is Infant Tommy of Peace Arc Ministry. It's nice to reach you from here in Nigeria, and I'm happy to have you being part of this broadcast today. Please do well to subscribe and share this video to encourage others as well. Thank you so much. Today, I want to send a very important message to all Squan family and uh, Emmanuel TV partners. Many of you have watched my congratulatory message to mommy on Emmanuel TV. And that doesn't mean that I have any, any agreement with Emmanuel TV or the Squan to talk about whatever is happening. Now, let me tell you exactly what really inspired me to do this. I went online one day and I saw some disturbing information, false information online. And I, I went through the comments and I knew that people were panicking already. The heart of people were so troubled. I had to put a call across to find out and verify that information. And I realized that the whole information was turned the other way around. Now let me start number one, the issue of deportation. Mommy is so sad and very, very disappointed about the way the media reports this day. She was so shocked to hear that she, she deported some persons out. Now, let me tell you exactly what happened. Maybe they saw, because the day these people left, they were escorted with some policemen because of, not because of anything, but because of the kind of persons they are. They were escorted by some policemen. They were not deported. Do you, know, do you understand what it means to be to deport? The federal government, the state government, I've not made any release that social persons have been deported from the country. Mommy cannot just wake up and deport. Mommy doesn't have the right to deport anybody. Deportation is done by immigration. Deportation is done by the government. Please debunk that information of deportation. It's Racine and the rest. We asked to go back, then come back after one month. That's exactly what I know. I don't know when they're coming back and I can't say anything about that for now. All right. So please, let's debunk that information. If you are an Emmanuel TV partner, please and please, don't be moved by whatever you read online. Don't be discouraged. Don't be downcasted. I can't sit and see my family burning and I'm keeping quiet. Why is it that YouTube will not report any good thing about the church except people like Elizabeth G. Kitchen? Mommy C., Who's, you know, these are, you know that they are really for squad and they're giving us good report. Why is it that aside from these two bloggers, why is it that what happened on that tarry night? They don't have that one, they don't have that information. And even though they have that information, they will not publish it because it was a good information. Now the church is resuming on the fifth. They will not publish it except except Elizabeth uh, Kitchen. Why? They are only waiting for a way to put a good a bad news up there, and you're listening to them. The only time you will hear them speak in train is when there's a bad news. But when something good happens, they don't put it up. You thought the church will not open. You thought that the church cannot start up again. I somebody said the other time that the, 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 that place is supposed to be like a tourist center. People will just come and go, who told you? Who told you that? The Bible says, I shall build my church and the gate of it shall not prevail. I said something that day. Mommy cannot impose herself. That's not a business entity. As a church of God, mommy cannot impose in herself as the head of trustee. Whatever you have seen happening in the squad is God's ordination. God is orchestrating and navigating every movement, every thought and idea, whatever you are seeing at the squad. And you're going to be surprised because the glory of the later days shall be greater than the former. Please, if you're an Emmanuel TV partner, continue to support, continue to be faithful. Mommy needs your support. I don't like it or not. Continue to support. Whatever you would have done if daddy was around, you have to do it now. In short, this is the best time to do it. If you want to respect anybody, you don't do it in front of that person. You do it, whatever you do behind that person shows if you respect that person or not. Do you know what you call loyalty? Loyalty is different from respect. Loyalty means sometimes you have to do things to your own detriment. You have to deny yourself so many things just to make that person happy. That's what loyalty is. So if you cannot do that for daddy, it means you are all hypocrites. I'm challenging all of us. If you cannot support mommy now, and you cannot still support Emmanuel TV, maybe you were doing that for daddy to see. Or you were doing that because daddy was around. Now that daddy's not around again, nobody will talk to you about it. And you, you, ah, 
The best time for you to do is now. Don't forget that the spirit of the prophet does not die. God is the one that rewards. If you were donating, keep on donating. We shouldn't stop. We should be bigger. Remember what he told us before his birthday. Keep on. People in your neighborhood, don't forget anything he taught us. Right now is for us to live by the teaching we see from him. And be a good example in our neighborhood. Let me tell you something that so many people have come to know Prophet T. Joshua now after his death. And the church will grow more. So those people too need to learn from us. Our character, our behavior and everything. Don't relent. Keep on doing what you are doing. Do even more. Let mommy know that yes, she has a family. Alright? As I said, I'm just alone in this. But please... I'm speaking as a family member. I'm calling all the family, the squan and the man not TV. Let's come together and do what we are supposed to do. If we were criticizing mommy, I think we should do that. Keep that aside for now. All she needs right now is our total support. Prayers to move the church forward. Synagogue of All Nations is our heritage. It's our pride. It's the pride of Africa. It's the pride of Nigeria. It's the pride of all of us. It's the pride of the whole world. It's the pride of Christians all over the world. Let's keep the flag flying. It's a pride. I'm so proud to be a true son of the prophet T. Joshua. I'm not afraid. I don't care what anybody says about that. It doesn't mean if I'm going to stand alone in this, I'm going to stand. I don't care. I say it with pride. Please, let's continue to be who we were. Let's make daddy, wherever he is, let him be so proud of us. Get back. There's no time. A little sleep, a little slumber. The devil is looking for a way to bring us down. All right? This is family. This is who we are. And this is who we shall continue to be. Emmanuel, good morning and win today. God bless all of you.